Welcome to MS Update, the channel for all things motocross. From the latest news to exclusive content, we've got you covered. Whether you're a seasoned rider or a fan of the sport, we'll bring you the stories that matter most. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest content. And for our returning viewers, thank you for your continued support. And please support me by sending a little super thanks. It's on! The AMA Pro Motocross Championship is on deck, ready to kick off another summer of awesomeness. It will be hard to top last summer's battle between Chase Sexton and eventual champion Eli Tomac. That down-to-the-wire dogfight gave the fans more than they could ever ask for. Still, this year's setup between Sexton, newcomer Jet Lawrence, and 2021 champ Dylan Ferrandez isn't a big letdown by any means. Seeing Jet move to a 450 full-time has me just as excited as the day I was able to fly without a mask again. He is one of the most gifted riders I have ever seen and looks to be just now exploring what he's capable of. Is that enough, though? Sexton broke out last summer and carried that momentum into his first ever 450 Monster Energy AMA Supercross Championship. His speed this season was simply undeniable and could be enough to thwart the wave that is Jet. Those two look bound for collision while also racing for the same team. The wild card here is Ferrandis. The level he was on in 2021 would challenge anyone in any dynamic. He was fit, fast, and confident. At that time, he could come from the back or win from the front. The question will be in if he can rekindle that elite form. It's fleeting, even for the most dominant of champions. Oftentimes, riders can't pinpoint the reasons for why and how they reached a peak. Make no mistake, though, to win this title, he will need it. Even with the loss of reigning champ Tomac, the boys in red are going to throwing serious heat at anyone stepping into the proverbial batter's box. Could there be a surprising championship challenger outside of these three? Sure. Cooper Webb has now entered the chat as a late entry. Aaron Plessinger has shown flashes of brilliance this year and is a former 250 champ in his own right. Adam Cienciarolo was the runner-up in this championship back in 2020 and has said his arm issues are often caused by Supercross whoops. He won't have to deal with those in motocross. These three riders have skill. Still, I have to be honest and say that I just don't see it happening for this crew without injury. The Sexton slash J, Lawrence slash Ferrandez group, in my scenario, seem too ready, too prepared. They are peaking at the right time and have their entire focus on this series. They aren't battling injury, they aren't unsure about their plans. They are here to win and win I think they will. Dirty little secrets. The track at Pala is not an agreeable one. The sandy yet slippery surface wreaks havoc on rider approach. Riders can't rely on smooth throttle application and rolling momentum because many sections are simply too deep. So you've got to get hard on the gas, but if you get too aggressive, you'll pay a big price as the base hardens up. Did I mention the ruts? That's right, the ample water applied Friday night and Saturday morning leads to heavy ruts that are almost like a cruel joke when added to the already tricky conditions. It's a track that requires many skill sets and one that leaves many scratching their heads in confusion. The upside for this particular rendition is that the weather will be absolutely phenomenal. With a high in the low 70s, track crews will be able to maintain moisture and keep the track at its best. It won't harden as much as the September event does and riders won't suffer through 100 plus degree temperatures. Everything about Saturday will be improved simply due to the weather being agreeable. After watching both events last year and how the riders attacked this course, there seemed to be a common denominator. Those that excelled stood around nearly the entire track. They allowed the motorcycle to work beneath them and avoid loading the suspension deep into the stroke. They kept the bike light and free, reacting to the ever-changing traction levels. They were riding a gear taller than maybe they wanted to but that change lowered wheel spin and further lightened the load on suspension. This is not a track like Spring Creek MX Park where riders can unleash aggression. Those riders that take what the track is giving them without overstaying their welcome seem to do well here. Case in point, Jet Lawrence has never lost at this facility. Chase Sexton got his first win here and also won the opener last season. 
Both of those riders utilize a stand more than they sit and are very deft with throttle control. Coincidence? Unlikely.